Hey FlossTube, it's Lisa here at Shady Tree Stitches and I'm here to talk to you about my week's cross stitch progress. Thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate that you like to sit back and do some stitching while you see what I've been up to. Now this week's floss tube is going to be a little bit different because I have been stitching very, very monogamously and therefore I um, only have two pieces to show you. So I am going to throw in the the brain um, thought process discussion about what pieces I might start for the 12 days of Christmas after No New Starts 2021 finishes. So um, enjoy, sit back, enjoy, and maybe get enabled and join me on a few, be good. And there are quite a few that I need your help on. So um, yeah, please give me comments below. If you are new, welcome. I am an Australian stitcher, floss tuber and designer. And I like to just talk about my cross stitch progress as a type of vlog to see how I go each week. And since I've started doing this, I am generally averaging between four and 5,000 stitches a week. Um, it's really good. I'm highly motivated and I love it. Um, if you do like what you see, then please subscribe and click the little bell button so that you can get notified when I post new videos. I do plan to do some tutorials soon. Um, I do have some dyeing tutorials up already and I also do um, produce a weekly discussion video or fortnightly on the many cross stitch challenge groups that are available for you to participate in in Facebook. So if any of that appeals for you, please stick around. And if you're one of my regulars, thank you so much. I do really appreciate you coming back. Um, I love the feedback and the comments that I get and you know, you're getting to see some good finishes. So without further ado, I'm going to start by showing you what I have stitched on. And look what's back. I almost got the tuber, but I couldn't be bothered. So. <laughs> Pretty fancy fanfare today. Why? We have two finishes. Oh my goodness. Two finishes out of my, my knock it over list. Still going. I know it's not October, but my goal is to finish a certain number by the end of the year and we are getting through. So the first one I've worked on is Springhouse Trio by Waxing Moon Designs. Look at that. Isn't that just super cute? And really didn't take me too long to do. Well, it took me a week, but um, so it's really about a fortnight stitch, I think, for me to do this whole thing if I actually sat down and did it. I did about three and a half thousand stitches to finish that. So I'm really excited to have it finished and it means that now I'll be able to um, continue working on the other two I've got going and then we'll be able to do some tissue boxing. And this is on a piece of fabric dyed by Crafty Lini. No idea what it is, but it's super cute. And the good thing is, look at this, I have enough in this fat quarter to do a whole nother series. So I don't know which color, probably winter or something, but I will add one of the others to the bottom. So that is my first finish. And then one wasn't enough. I stitched on Joy to the World by um, Twin Peak Primitives. And Joy to the World is just it's sort of hard to see. It's got, can you see all the snow in there? Yeah. Really cute. This was a freebie on their site last year. And don't tell her, but I'm going to actually give this to my mom for Christmas. Shh, she better not be watching. Um, so I'm not sure what to do with it. I'm, I'm thinking it might make a really cute pillow actually. So um, yeah, really, really super excited. And unlike my usual videos, guys, that's it for stitching. Two pieces, but they're both finishes. Um, and that's why I'm filming today. I wanted to get that second one done. And it was about um, 1800 stitches to finish it. So it wasn't that much for me to do. Um, oh no, it's a bit more than that, about 2000. So really, there's no reason to not have it done. So I'm planning to keep going with my finishes. I'm gonna take a little pause this week and work on my zombie run pieces. So you'll get to see those old favorites progress about 400. I'm probably gonna do the extra stitches, either on my stitching time or my alpha vet to get it caught up. 
so we can look forward to that next video and if you don't know what i'm talking about come back next week and check it out now you'll notice i have someone sitting here she was under the desk i have done two of the celtic ladies i have autumn who's on the wall and i have summer i have the others to do in fact i've started winter and she's in my whips but i've only done the two i've got matching frames already bought for them but i can only display one per season so we're in spring here in australia so we're getting ready to probably put Miss Summer up instead of Miss Autumn. So that's why she's here. And besides, she makes a very pretty backdrop for the video, don't you think? All right, and then, totally out of order, I got a little bit of stitchy haul today, stitchy kindness and, well, prizes. From the Mittagong retreat that I went to um, a few weekends ago, it's a really good Australian retreat, but it was held virtually, unfortunately, this year. Um, and I was lucky enough to win a prize and I won a prize from Mojo Stitches of some cottage garden threads so I asked her to just pick me an assortment because I do want to start designing with these so I have an assortment of lovely colors to design with in that beautiful selection so thank you so much Joe, for that really really appreciate it and also on the retreat I met lots of lovely people um, one in particular um, I don't know if I can name her or not, so I won't, but you know who you are. Look at this cute card she sent me. And she had somehow ordered two copies of the Christmas ornament issue. And so I very happily said, yes, please. So I'm going to have to start doing some of these Christmas ornaments. So many cute ones. I mean, look at these cute little let it snows. Not for Christmas for us, but they are cute. So I'm kind of really excited. I only just got it like half an hour ago. So haven't even looked at it yet. I thought I'll jump in here and, and film my floss tube. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to pass you over now to the insert here, my video of my thoughts. And as I said, please, please, please give me your opinion. I do need your help, but look at it holistically. It'll make sense when you hear me. So I'll pop that in here. All right, so you're ready for the plans. I need your help. I, I think I'm going to have 15 spaces to start in the um, 12 days of Christmas in December. So I have to pick my 15 new starts for that are gonna see me through 2022. Some of them I'm decided on and some I can pick and tissue box and line up because um, I need to get some more smaller things in, but I'm really stumped as to a great many of which ones to do. So I thought I'd just give you a bit of a show of what I have forgot and see if we can work out with me talking to you or I may pose you to give me your opinion, um, if that's okay. Um, if we can pick the 15 or at least have some <laughs> tissue box lined up. Of course, this 15 is dependent on me actually finishing the ones I need to finish. So. Some of these may or may not make it to get started in the 12 days of Christmas. All right, let's start with the ones we know for sure we're definitely doing. And it'd be a little bit annoying and I'm going to write down on my list so that I don't forget what I say because then I have to watch this video again and you know, I do it for you once. I don't want to watch it again. You get the joy of watching me. Okay, so first of all, big ass project. I will be starting, where are they? The 12, uh, 12 Jingling Ladies. So this is a Joy Sunday kit and she will definitely, definitely be starting those. So they go without saying. Also going without saying, um, I'll put a picture here, is the Cross Stitch Nation. And that is um, the piece that I'm going to do as a sal with my friends and um, the Shady Tree Stitches. And I'm thinking of stitching it on this piece of fabric. Maybe that way around. I don't know yet, what do you think? This is a 32 linen that I dyed and I'm gonna be using the leftover silks. So that one there has to be done. Okay, okay. Next one that has to be done is also, um, I put a picture here, is going to be the pointed fifth, um, quinto or whatever it is. 
by Long Dog and pointed fifth. I am going to stitch, I think, on this piece of fabric that I dyed. And beautiful pinks, purples, and yellows. And I wanted to do a, a funky fabric, but with a not so funky thread over the top. So the 823, which I think you can see as a basis, it's gonna look beautiful. And then I'm probably going to accent the um, animals with some other colors, but the bulk of it is going to be the 823. And that is my thought at the moment. So that one definitely is getting done as well. Also a definite, because these ones I'm doing with other people, is Kringles. Kringles from Little House Needlework. Looking forward to doing Kringles and I have dyed my fabric for it. But I don't know where that is at the moment. Hmm. Oh, it's in the bag where it lives, silly. All right, there's my Kringles fabric. It's a bit of a snowy, wintry fabric. Um, that I'm going to be switching that one on. So Kringles obviously will be happening. Also, I really want to stitch Seeking Refuge by the Scarlet House. So that's an option to do. So I definitely, definitely a strong consideration. But we're going to think about what big pieces. Another new one I just got as well would be Isabella Offendale. But I think out of those two, I think Seeking Refuge is speaking to me faster. So this belt can wait a little bit longer. And I think Seeking Refuge is going to get a look in. Okay, then we're going to have a few more things to do. Um, I have dyed this beautiful piece of fabric. This is the other option for the pointed fifth. Crazy. But I'm actually thinking this one might be really nice for the um, Joan Elliott Seasons. Um, I'll put a picture here of the Seasons. Um, but I'm not sure. I'll put that on the maybe. It hasn't arrived yet. And that one, two, three stitch is unable to post to me at the moment so now the other definite is going to be one of these and I know there's one missing at the moment Let's see if I can find them more recently yeah, this one the schoolgirl sample club from that I got as a series this year from the cruel goblin and I've got four but I want to do a four so these are going to be tissue boxed in each other and Natalie and I are thinking we're going to start with this one because it's the most boring. So we think we might do that one and then go one, two, and four. So that one is definitely going to be the way to go. So let's see if we can find the actual boring one, not that one. It must be the one I opened. That's funny. Okay. Well, there you go. So there we go, there we have a schoolgirl sampler. And that's definitely going to be tissue boxed. Let me check if this is the right one. Yes, oh look, here it is. So it shouldn't take too long to do. I mean, it's pretty much one color. This one was by Fox and Raddit from Lucy Raddit, but just a very simple alphabet. All right. So people, that's six. That's nearly half decided already. Oh my goodness. Well, I just do not know where to begin. There's so many choices. I've got all these ones. I've got so many, so many to go through. So many choices. Um, I would, sorry, put them all out of the box. 
I would really like to do a Veronique Enninger. Um, Natalie from Knitting Out Stitches started doing them. And I've got that beautiful book that Jenny gave me for, for Christmas. So I'm going to write down that as one. I just don't know which one yet. I have to find the book. Um, all right. So many choices. What do we do? Let's start with the told in the garden, I think. We have a lot of told in the gardens. And I know which one I want to do next. I just have to find it. Is it going to be hiding in here? Is it going to be hiding somewhere else? I just don't know. Um, just to entertain you, as I am sorting through, Told in the Garden, we've got not, um, Peacemakers 2. We have got Baby Garden. We have got no idea, a little alphabetty one. Um, we've got Song of People. I have been collecting these because I love them and my plan is to get around to doing them all. We have the Farmer's Market. The Counting. The Auction. Everything except the one I actually want to start. We've got the quilting. At the moment, that's all I can find in this pile. Ah, oh, no, take it back. We've got strawberries, the harvest, and voice of the shepherd but none of them are the one i want to do i think i want to do the country store that was given to me by my friend lisa 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 over in america so the country store is going to be a winner so i'll have to put a picture here of it because for some reason in my fantastically disorganized filing system so you know, I've got hiding down here. Well, we do have another one we've got grandmother's house to go with grandfather's barn but I don't think that's going to actually make it I've got too many others to choose from and I still got I still got raspberry I still got blueberry homecoming and grandfather's barn on the go so I think I need one more hmm okay well you never know it might appear we've got some lavender and laces that I don't think I feel like doing but we've got Christmas one they just sort of belong with this. We've got um, Angel of the Sea. She has this just a picture. We've got this one with the little goose. Uh, we've got this one, which is called County Fair. We've got the Angel of First Light. So there you go. I think that's all my ones of those ones. So yes, yeah, so I count um, country store. All right. What else? What else? What else? Part of me thinks I should bring this one back. This is one of my old old whips. I love cats. The reason I don't like this piece. That it's stitched on Ada. But do you know what? I don't know where the Ada has gone. So it makes it easy. I'll have to think about that. Now, I have a lot of mirrors on the go. But I do have a friend who's stitching Veronica. But um, I did finish a few a few but I don't know if I need to stitch another one till I finish all the ones I've got going decisions decisions um, I'll put her in the maybe pile like I said all these all these different ones now 
I feel like I should, I have a whole series, a bunch of these Hummels. So we've got the little sweeper or the strummers. So I feel I should do one of them. So it's a choice. Do I do the little sweeper or the strummers? I really like little sweeper. It should be easier to do. But then the strummers are playing musical instruments and I am a music teacher. So mm, decisions there. What do we think? It'll be a hummelo. It gets a space. Okay, what else have we got here? Well, I'm not going to start them, but tissue box ready to lined up is a cricket collection, autumn and spring, because I've done summer and I've got winter on the go. So they are tissue boxed, but they're not they're not new ones who are really lined up to go. All right, also lined up, ready to go, is the Halloween house trio from Maxine Rooney's Designs and the Winter House Trio. So they will be tissue boxed, ready to go, but I still have, I'm working on spring. I haven't finished any of them yet. And I have got hmm, Easter and winter, I think. No, that's winter. Must be summer on the go. So yeah, lining them up. Okay, next one. Decisions time. I think... a whole bunch somewhere hiding under there I have the whole series of um, Main Street by Little House Needleworks super cool However, I'm still working on my um, ABC's houses. So I think they might have to wait another year. Sorry, Michelle. I, I don't feel like I can have that many houses on the go. Did I ever say that? You can never have too many houses on the go. Yes, you can. Oh, missing thing that was amazing what you find. These are just a whole bunch of little ones. Anyway, they're not they're not in the running um oh look there is another lavender and lace one with the mother and the baby all sorts of things i have a whole bunch of brooks brooks angels um i've got the spirit of baking christmas baking the spirit of christmas stitching spirit of quilting Angel of Cross Stitch. I've got the Spirit of Christmas Future. A Spirit Angel. Spirit of Christmas Past. And the Spirit of Christmas Present. Um, I am endeavouring to finish my books, books that I'm doing. Do I want to do another one? Won't be on the perforated paper, I can tell you that much, because that's the bit I don't like. Do I want to do another Brooks Books this year? I am still doing the cake, so there's a question. Do I want to do the Brooks Books or not? I'm thinking possibly not. Oh, wait, there's more. There's more. Of course there's more. We've got the Spirit Christmas Giving. The Spirit of Knitting. A spirit of cross stitch Christmas angel. A spirit of crochet. Spirit of evergreen. So many, so many. That makes me feel like I probably should do one, shouldn't I? Hmm. Not six more. Well, which one would I do? I actually think. A bit random. I'm thinking I might do 
who did a little one. The spirit of Christmas past, present and future. What do you think? I think that would be a good one to do as one piece. A little Christmas piece for those three girls. Maybe. Maybe we can think about it. We have a Brooks book spot. All right. Six to go, people. Six to go. You should see my choices. And yeah. Oh my goodness, the choices. Oh my goodness, the choices, people. So many choices. I just don't know what to do. All right. I was contemplating doing the English Cotton Cottage Sampler by Teresa Wensler. However, I'm going to be intelligent. I still have got my Teresa Wensler basically untouched from this year. So, not in 2022. I also bought this beautiful one, Coscofo Manor. Full kit, but it's another big one. I have a lot of big ones to go, so no, not going to happen. We need to do little ones. Little ones, little ones, little ones. All right. Um, I really do enjoy Cure Baticore. And I know I've got the Lavender Farm underway. Do I want to add another one? I feel like... I feel like I do. So the problem is, which one do I ask? Um, do I add the Christmas in quilt? Do I add Welcome Friends? Or do I add the knitting in quilt? So there's a decision. But that decision could tie in very closely to the next one, which is Soda Stitch. And I'll set these ones too, because um, do I do Santa's Village one or Craft Village? Now, the decision between those two to me correlate, because if I do the Christmas quilt, well, then I would do the Craft Village. If I do Santa's Village, then I could do the knitting and quilt or the welcome friends, or I could do the welcome friends anytime. Decisions, decisions, Curie, Batticore, and Soda Stitch. Need your help with that. And then I've got two others that are um, Curie, let's write him down. Two others to decide between, and that is Madame Lefee, I've just discovered her patterns. Oh my goodness, she has so many, so many. So again, three choices here. Do I do Bistro the Paris? Do I do Mini Halloween? Or do I do L'Atelier du Père Noël? Again, could tie in with the others. If I'm doing a Christmas one in the others, maybe not the L'Atelier. So do I want to do the Bistro Paris or the Mini Halloween? Choices, choices, choices. I like these though, because the good thing is I can tissue box these all up. So it's only a matter of which one do I do first, um, because these ones are littler and might have a chance of getting finished and tissue boxed. Okay, well, that then leaves me with three spots where we could do another Joan Elliott, but I mean, I've already got two on a go, so. I'm thinking maybe not starting that third one yet. So we've got, and the Mirabilia, which I'm undecided on. So we're really choosing two or three more. And I just have so many choices here. All right. I do have more of the fragments in time that I did start this year. And I have got four more. I'm thinking that would be a really good thing to have starting and a tissue box. So I think that's going to win because that will get it, that will get it finished sometime sooner than, than later. So yeah, I think the Fragments in Time um, series will, will get a place. So that's really good. 
Ooh. All right, we have a Mill Hill Santa. But if I'm going to be honest, if I'm doing another Brooks Books, then no, we'll pass on that. We have a lot more choices here, people. Oh my goodness. Lots more. All right. Now, we have got, and maybe this is something I should consider. Oh, so many choices. So many choices. All right. I don't know if I've got them all, but I do have the Hands On Design Chalk Series. Now, from what I hear, these are a really nice, easy stitch. So we have got the Harvest one with the Sunflowers. We've got the Merry with the Sanders. We've got Snowy with Snowmen. We've got um, just stitching with the Housewives, Santa Claus is coming to town. And we've got a pumpkin boo. So I feel like, you know, even though they're different series, they belong together. And as I said, there may or may not be a few more hiding in here. <sighs> do I do them? I will not be doing them on black. Have to do them on. I don't know what. I just don't know. That's one option right? as, a, as a tissue box option. Okay, I have a red hat stitches. I've already got another one of them on the go. Haven't finished it from last year. So that's not going to, to get a winner. I have got a few things that I have achieved as prizes along the way this year. And they are, they are calling to me somewhat. So many choices, so few to choose from. Um, okay. Just clearing up. Oh, there we go. Another hands on. We've got the carrot one as well. So that could definitely make a really nice tissue box option and get some finishes happening along the way. Um, also, not going to get into it, but we've got a dress up of Alice from and another one of the red hat stitches that. Won't get a look in just yet. Okay. So we have got some of the salt boxes. We have the summer salt box, the autumn salt boxes, and the spring salt boxes. And fitting with that but not the same is home for Christmas plum street. Oh do I do a plum street? Or do I do a blackbird? I have Maya Valentine. Remember me. Pleasure of the fleeting year. They're all easy ones. I could do some nice, easy, quick Lizzie Kate ornaments. That's very appealing, little ornaments. Super, super appealing. Then, let's see if we're getting through. Oh, there we are. Summer salt boxes as well. Go with the um, salt box series. But there's more. Wait, there's more. I have got two of the three Little House Needlework Song of the Seasons. But I think because I've got two out of three, no. But I also have got this gorgeous one, blue jeans and daisies. That is super cute. And I have the whole pattern for that. And it's really cute. And it's got a beehive and a sunflower and bugs and birds and swans. So it could be really useful. And then I've got Prairie School, Spring Cottage. I don't think so. My Grandma's Garden by Pepperland Designs. Yeah, I have so many. I'm so lucky. I've been collecting well. I have the Jardin Privé History of Sheep. But I feel like I've got enough Jardin Privés at the moment. 
And then I've got the To The Beach series that I won on the Daily 30. Hands on design, To The Beach. Refuse to sing, surf life, drop together, oh whale, a little cottage by the sea, adjust your sails. I say I don't like the colours, but that's okay. Anchor down, not all stars, all in the sky, there is no wind, a row, learn your ABZs, and on the beach. So that's an option, but I think since I've just got that, that can get filed for later for Ron. Then we've got, oh, we've got Shepherd's Bush. I'm not going to add a Shepherd's Bush, I don't think, this year. But then we have more Little House. <laughs> you know what I'm like with Little House. There's so many. I could do like just a a, a little le Little House um. A little house sort of um tissue box i mean these are in no particular order whatsoever but a lot of little ones we've got all doubled up isn't she cute we've got sampler stitches we've got colonial welcome colonial homes sorry about the reflection we've got morning berries Patience, Pear Tree Inn, Peace and Plenty, The Harvesters, Rose Sampler, Let Us Adore Him, The Tea Room, and then the samples of the month for February and January. So just a couple of them. Oh, well, I do love Little House. So do I do a, a Little House and somehow tissue box some of those? Make me have options. But I also got some silhouettes back on Etsy when they were not, not there. Um, I've got a couple of silhouettes that I can I can do. So you know we've got I'll put the pictures in here. We've got Elsa. We've got Anna. We've got Ariel or Cinderella. I feel like they would make a really quick stitch and I could do one of them. I just need more spots. I mean, I could do a silhouette definitely, but which one do I start with? Who would you start with? Elsa, Anna, Ariel or Cinderella? Silhouettes are making it in. All right, you know what? Brooks Books is gone because I'm not loving the idea of it as much and I'd rather have a little house a little house one. All right, silhouettes are in. Oh, choices, choices, choices. Well, I think I think the Plum Street can wait a bit longer. They're fairly new. I have a few blackbirds on the go, so my blackbirds can wait. And of course, some of these ones on the go. When I finish them during the year, then I can replace them with something. So it's not like these are totally not done, but I'm just not going to kit them up to start the year. We've got one more spot. All right. This is the big one. Your biggest decision yet, people. Who is going to get the last spot? I will look at the votes and it will definitely sway my opinion severely. So please comment below with your vote. Am I going to do a chalkful? Am I going to do that for my last spot? Am I going to whip up the Lizzie Kate Christmas ornaments? Remembering it is December, because then I can whip them up and 
replace them with something else? Or am I going to do the blue beans and daisies sampler that has so many useful things or challenges during the year? Those three choices, you get to pick one. Okay, people. Well, that gives me, apart from deciding which little house I want to start, um, that gives me a great starting point. So you've got you got a lot of choices for me, okay? So you want to tell me which Curie, Betty Curie, which Soda Sitch, which Madame Le Fay, and then which of those last three, which silhouette, <laughs> and which of those last three choices. Oh my goodness. I better see a lot of helpful comments, please. I need your help, people. I just can't decide by myself. All right, well, you'll get to see them all kitted up, ready to go in December. I will return you to my usual video now. Okay, so plans. Well, my plans are to keep just trying to work my way through um, the pieces that I need to. And I also forgot one piece in that video. Uh, I am doing the temperature bookshelf um, for 2022. So I'll insert a picture of that here and I need to dye myself a bit of fabric for that. And I'm going to make that my daily 30. So it looks to me like that's going to mean I'm going to have 75 on the Whipgo board plus four. So 79 pieces, but that's still better than the 96 I had this year. So I'm really pleased with that. All right, thank you so much for giving me your time. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will look forward to catching up with you next week. Until then, Happy stitching.